Dee Dee. Are you at the vet? You don't like the vet, do you? Hi. I love you. She's got a fever. And it did a blood test for her. And we're waiting on the results. They're trying to find out what's causing the fever. And they said that uh, there's been a big problem with chicks in our area. Hey, Dee Dee! We're home from the vet! You happy that we're home? You got your brother? Dee Dee, come here. The, they got the blood test back and she's got early stages of Lyme disease. But they put her on antibiotic and we're going to see if it helps her. And she didn't have any sign of any ticks on her. So if any of you out there have animals, tick season is still in season everywhere in the entire country. So if you see any of the signs, she has a fever and she's just not herself, really tired. We took her to the vet and that's what they found. Didn't have any ticks on her. And it can be spread just by the larva, so you have to be careful. And hopefully she'll start feeling a lot better really soon. Love you, Dee Dee! Hey, you guys. It's me. <sighs> Busy morning. I woke up and we watched part of this week's Glee. And then I had to go with my mom to take Delilah to the vet. Or Dee Dee as we call her, and gut medicine, but it's going to take her a little while to get better, so hopefully she gets better really soon. She didn't have any signs of ticks on her, and they say, they say she has early signs of Lyme disease. And it can be transmitted from larva because even larva can bite. And some people, a lot of people don't know that. And they don't know just how small the larva are. So, tick season is not over. Lyme disease season is not over. Because it's possible they could be sick with something and you don't even know. Never hesitate to take your dog to the vet. I'm sorry that the video went up for the day before yesterday. It went up really, really late. It didn't go up until after midnight today. So, that's, that's not good. That's not good. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, I woke up late yesterday. Or I woke up early and then I didn't feel good. So I, I didn't feel like I had enough sleep and I just, I felt like crap. So I went and fell back just I laid down and I ended up falling back asleep and then uh, Brandon came over and we were go 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 very busy and then I had problems with the files from his uh, that he was supposed to send me and they didn't send, they didn't show up in my mail and he had to resend them and I didn't get the video edited and uploaded until real late so I'm sorry about that so that's basically all we did today after we came back from the vet we gave Dee Dee her medicine fed her and gave her her medicine and finished watching the rest of Glee my mom is in the other room watching her soap opera and I have to edit yesterday's video and I don't know what else I'm going to do um, my stomach wasn't feeling that great this morning but I'm feeling better now, so I'll probably eat something. Uh, Brandon was supposed to come today, and he can't because somebody is sick, and he has to stay later. 
I don't get to see him today. I don't get to see him tomorrow either. The next time I get to see him is going to be my birthday, which is Friday. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't like getting old. I like getting treated like I'm special and important and all of that. And I like presents, but I don't like getting older. I'll probably eat something and watch something on my fire or on Netflix or something. I don't know if I have anything DVR I have to watch. So it's really yucky out. It's raining and I don't have any plans to go anywhere else. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the library. I have the um, audio book that I'm supposed to bring back. Maybe I can go bring that back later. I'm still reading the same thing. Um, I've surpassed my reading goal for the year. I don't remember if I told you guys that, but um, or I met my reading goal. But a few of those are graphic novels, so I'm hoping that I pass my goal by more than the graphic novels. Like I think I read four or five graphic novels this year. So I'd like to get to 80. My original goal is 75, but I'd like to get to 80 because then I met my goal not including the graphic novels. They're, they're so fast to read. I'm obviously counting my audiobooks because they still count to me. It's still reading. I'm still absorbed the story. I still know what was going on. I like to read them at night or like when my eyes start to get tired or throughout the day while I'm going about my day doing other things. And I've had some audiobooks that have had a really huge effect on me as far as like an emotional reaction and some that I've read and then I reread them in audio. And it's nice, especially if it's a book that you've already read, to hear it read to you. I'd like to finish all the books that I planned to read this year. I don't know if I'm going to. I had ones that I had planned for challenges. For year-long challenges on Goodreads, but I don't think I'm going to finish them all. Um, one of my big goals for this year was to finish Harry Potter series, which I did. And... One of my other goals was Percy Jackson series, which I haven't. I'm reading a Sea of Monsters, which is book two right now in audio. And I don't know if I'm going to get through the rest of them before the end of the year. I very much doubt it. And then I have other books that I had planned. But I don't think that I'm going to finish them. I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat something. Probably leftover pizza. Leftover taco pizza. It's probably a really good idea when my stomach was a little queasy. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to do it anyway. And I, I intended to vlog more last night, but with all the problems I was having, getting everything edited and uploaded, I didn't. Um, Brandon and I watched the David Tennant uh, special for Doctor Who, Planet of the Dead, because it's not on Netflix. It's on Amazon Prime, but not on Netflix. So if any of you have Amazon Prime and you like Doctor Who, look for that. It will be listed under Dave, the David Tennant specials. All the other ones are there. 
End of Time and Water of Mars are there on, on Netflix and on Prime. But Planet of the Dead is not on Netflix streaming. So we missed on, we missed that one. But we figured out where it falls in the storyline. So that's good. And it made me really miss David Tennant because he is my favorite doctor. My favorite. And I just, I love Tennant. I love Tennant. I also love him as Hamlet. I just think David Tennant is brilliant. I am going to talk to you guys later. Bye for now. Hey, what's up, you guys? So, it's dark out and I've started filming, but it's actually still like reasonable hours and it's not a lot. Um, I'm on my way to school right now, and I'm stuck in standstill traffic. Like it is, well, it's not really standstill, but it's way slower than it normally is on this road this time of day. Which makes me think maybe there's an accident up here or something. I don't know. But I am really tired. I got stuck late at work today. That sucks. But um, the I don't even know what his title is. Seafood specialist. One of the seafood specialists. I am the other one. There are two of us. I am one. He is two. Oh, no, more like he is one, I am two, because he has seniority on me in his full time. He called out sick today, didn't come to work. Thinks he might have pneumonia, might be out for a while, which, you know, could potentially suck. I got school, I got class, I gotta learn. I only have three, like, including today, I only have three classes left. That's crazy. It's crazy. And I'm, like, getting an A in this class. I'm gonna, like, finish this semester with, like, a 3.9 GPA or something. Because the one class I got like a 99% in or something. I don't know. I only missed like one point on one thing all year. I've shown it to all the classes. Got full scores on all the projects except for one. Aced all the tests, I think. I don't know. I'm getting an A, and that's what counts. And this is easily like the best semester of college I've ever had. Granted, it's only the second one I've ever finished. Because I did, I did one and a half semesters right out of high school. And... Like, the first semester was just a disaster. Like, I finished the semester with, like, a 1.3 GPA, and I never went to class, and I failed all my classes except for one that I never went to, and it was American history, but, like, come on. Come on. It's American history. Guy never paid attention to if we showed up or not. I just showed up for the final, aced it, B+, plus. yeah. So I never showed up for any of the other tests, so that's why it wasn't, like, an A. But if I, like, knew when the tests were and only showed up for the tests, I could have aced that class. Oh, I was not in the right state of mind to go to college right after high school. To those of you who are watching who are like in your senior or junior years, I know everybody goes through it. You go through your senior slide, senior year, you don't try as hard, you just kind of coast until the end. If you don't feel like you're fully out of that senior slide by the time, you know, if you don't feel like you're fully out of that senior slide in time for college, take a year off. Don't waste money going to school when you're not going to apply yourself. That's what I did. I, um, well, no, I went to school, and then I dropped out in the second semester of my freshman freshman year. And, oh, I see flashing lights. I'm gonna, you guys are gonna go down here for a second. I waited four years to go back. Three and a half, four years, something like that. But I'm, like, definitely in the right, like, I'm, I'm doing it right this time. Like, I'm showing up to class, I'm doing all the work, and I'm doing well. I need to take my placement test. I need to call. I need to find my schedule tomorrow. Find out what my schedule is, and then call them Friday morning it's about placement tests. And then also make an appointment to schedule classes. What we got here? Oh, a fire truck! Oh, what the fire truck going on here? Uh, I shouldn't make jokes. If there's a fire truck, it's probably something serious. But oh, what the fire truck! And we have a cop car, and we have another car which appears to be getting onto a tow truck. So probably an accident of some sort. With lots of police to make sure that everybody is safe, because that's their job. And also to be hippies. I don't think that's actually in the police officer's job description. It's like, job description, keep the peace, enforce the laws, beat hippies,
I'm gonna ask my friend Justin because he wants to be a cop. I'll ask him if beating hippies is in the job description for cops. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to school. It's raining a lot harder than it was before, so I'm having trouble seeing. It's raining out. And it's gonna get cold tonight, which is gonna turn all this rain into a mess of ice and danger and stuff I don't really want to deal with. So hopefully it's not too cold by the time I get out of class, or I might like spin out and crash and die. <coughs> or fall on my ass walking to my car. You see that sign that says Holyoke Community College this way. Because that's where I go to school. Go I don't even know what our mascot is. I've been here for like one semester and I only come here twice a week for one class. And I don't know what our mascot is. I think it's the cougars or something. There's the paw print on like stuff. So it's probably some sort of animal with paws. It could be a cougar. I think it's a cougar or it could also be like a wolf or a mountain lion or a bear. Bears are badass. I kind of wish it was a bear. I think it's cougars. I, I'm pretty sure it's a cougar because there was a cougar at orientation. So it's probably a cougar. But it would be better if it was a bear because bears are badass. They are. I dare you to walk up to a bear and tell it it's not badass. You don't fuck with a bear because bears are badass. And they can eat you. Grizzly bears, that is. They can eat you. Black bears just kind of like beat you up. But you're not really what they want to be because you're bigger than them. And when they attack you, it's more like they think you're defending themselves. Because you're bigger than them and they assume you're a threat. But grizzly bears see you and think dinner. I think. I don't know. I'm not an animal psychologist. Um, I'm not like the bear whisperer. If I was, I could make I could make a lot of money in this area whispering to bears and telling them not to go into people's backyards. Or, or whispering them to like, hey, cut it out for a little while and then you know come back, act like you're a different bear, and then I will split the money with you, bear. Or I will buy you honey with half of the money. I will I will convert half of the money we make off of this into honey, and I will give it to you uh, in exchange for this scheme. Yeah, that's a good idea. One man, one bear Ponzi scheme. No, that's not a Ponzi scheme. It's a scam. It's definitely a scam of some sort, but I don't know what type. It's not a pyramid scheme because there's only two of us. There's nobody underneath us. I can't see the lines. How am I supposed to be inside the line if I can't see the lines? I have terrible light vision, especially when it rains. Oh, I think we're inside the spot. I hope so. Not really. I don't care. Fuck it. Being inside the spot's for losers and not rebels. I still have 25 minutes. No, 35 minutes left. And I'm not wearing my seatbelt anymore because I parked. I was wearing it before. Always wear your seatbelt or you'll turn into Gary Busey. I learned that from watching The Venture Brothers. I have coffee. I have coffee. It's only like my second cup today. The sour. It is really coming down out there. Like, I'll turn off my windshield wiper so you can see how fast the water builds up on my windshield, maybe. I don't know. This might be a waste of time. See all those dots? Probably not. This camera is not the best. I should probably look into buying a new camera. Maybe for my birthday, I'll ask for money, like Best Buy gift cards to buy a new camera. I'm sure you can hear the water hitting the roof. Hey, is that Justin's truck? <laughs> Filming. I don't even know what I'm Probably can't see anything. I started filming in color again, but last time I filmed in my car in the night, it was so dark that you couldn't really see me. And the only way you could see me is if Jen turned the video into black and white, so I was in black and white again. I'm probably, I'm probably in black and white right now if it's too dark. Am I in black and white? Yo, we could, today's my last day of class. It's kind of exciting. I gotta like I gotta take my placement tests. I'm gonna try and get an appointment for next week. Uh, I'm gonna find out my schedule on Thursday and then call them on Friday morning. And maybe, depending on what my schedule looks like, maybe get in like. Like uh, I don't know. Maybe if I can schedule it right, I'll can take my uh, placement tests on Wednesday and register for classes Wednesday too. Call up like make it a appointment with an advisor. If I have Wednesday off, I should do that. But if I just, like, only... I think they only do them on Wednesday. So, like, if I have Wednesday the whole day off, I'll try and get them both done the same day, but if I only have, like, if I'm, like, 12 to... or 7 to 12, like I was supposed to be today, until Jeff got sick. Is that a stroke? No. I don't know. Um, I'll just do the placement tests. 
because I can't really sign up for class. Well, I can sign up for math or English classes before I take my placement test, but if I don't take my placement test, they'll just put me in, like, the lowest math class, and I think I, I like, lowest math and English classes. I'm pretty sure I'm at a college-level English, and, like, maybe one above the lowest math. Oh, I'm so bad at math. Oh, because it's so wet, and I don't want to go out there. I don't know what building that is. It's not the one my class is in. My it's raining. Go away, rain. Die on fire, rain. Wait, is that possible? Is it possible for rain to go die on a fire? Is it possible for rain Wilson to die on a fire? I am rambling again. Hey, what's up, you guys? I just got out of class. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm covered in mud. Sort of. It's all over my hoodie and like my face, and it was on my glasses, and it's uh, it smells like poop. It's in my nose, and it smells like poop. I uh, was trying to jump over a mud puddle to avoid getting my shoes wet. And then where my feet landed, it was all mud and it was all slippery and I just went down. It was like Ollie Frazier, down goes Frazier. Oh, is that the fight? Is that the line? Down goes Frazier, down goes Frazier. I don't know. I'm covered in mud and I don't like it. And I, just, I texted Jen. I fell in the mud, and her response was, did you film it? Which, no, I wasn't filming at that time. I just did laundry the other day, too. This shirt was, this sweatshirt was clean. I'm just going to have to go home and get in the shower, take everything off, and put it in the washing machine. <sighs> I'll see you guys later, maybe. I don't know. I filmed for like 20 straight minutes earlier. I think, I think that gives me the right to get away without filming for the rest of the night. Anyway, uh, I'm going to turn you guys off and then drive home fairly quickly so I can get in the shower. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's me, Jen. I'm sorry I haven't filmed that much today. I did end up going to the library. I had to drop off an audiobook and pick up another one. And... I watched some Degrassi Junior High on my fire, and I uh, watched a little bit of YouTube. I got the video ended and uploaded. Uh, early today, I think. But I'm going somewhere with my mom tomorrow. She has a doctor's appointment and I'm going with her. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit today's video before I leave or not. I don't think I will. I don't know how long we're going to be gone. We might go some other places too. But I'm not sure. Uh, it'll depend how she feels. And if she needs to get anything or feels like going anywhere. I have a freaking headache so bad. This light is driving me crazy. It's not even that bright normally, but it's driving me crazy right now. Um, I turned off my computer. Turned off my fire and plugged it into charge because my head is killing me. Um... My stomach feels a little weird again, too. Uh, yeah, I, I just feel tired. My head hurts, and I think I feel like I have a fever. My mom said she didn't think I felt like it. She felt my head. <laughs> and, but I'm going to take my temperature, and we'll see. It says I don't have a fever. I don't believe it. I don't trust technology. <laughs> Maybe I'm a hypochondriac. I don't think I am. But I guess most hypochondriacs don't think they're hypochondriacs, right? <sighs> I don't know. I just don't feel right. Hopefully I'll feel better when I wake up in the morning.
Brandon said he filmed today, so that's going to be fun to edit. He said he films a lot, so the vlog might be a little later than normal tomorrow, but I'm tired. My head hurts, and I need to sleep because this light is, ugh, oh, this light is awful. Good night, you guys. I don't usually get headaches really bad, but oh, this is a bad one. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. And please comment and subscribe and share us with your friends. I want some more subscribers. I know it's a little late to say I want some more subscribers for my birthday. But I want some more subscribers for my birthday. That would be nice. Let's see how many more subscribers we could get in a couple of days. Alright. I uh, love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.